All right, welcome to day three. Hello. And in case you weren't watching, which why wouldn't you have watched it for this episode? But in case you weren't, we got our, the shit kicked out of us. We did. We got beaten with a pipe in the thirty thousand dollar statuette we retrieved. Got taken. So we need to find by, someone by a shape shifting Native American dude. Oh yeah, yeah. By the way, that guy sort of turned into another guy. So yeah. that's a thing that happens. I, I, I believe that was the same dude we saw talking to man in chair. He was. He was. It's all coming together. We have an antagonist. Yes. Think he's scared of clowns too? Uh, probably not. I mean, who he isn't? Is though? Yeah, we said that already. Talk to me, handsome. Well, at least she still thinks we're handsome. Uh, I think she's just teasing. Mugging? Sorry, Tex. I, I didn't see a thing. You know, I'll let you know if I hear anything. This is a random one. Uh, someone we haven't really spoken to yet. Oh. Who would that be? I don't know. Let's see. But you obviously do know. I do know, yes. <laughs> we are going to go get us some pizza. Oh, oh it's the, yeah, we haven't talked to the husband yet, right? Well... Talked we, to his wife? Why am I mind or is that the other game? No, that's the other game. Okay. I, actually, I'm having a weird thing now, because this street exists in uh, the follow-up game to this, Pandora Directive, but uh, there's, like, other doors and other shit you can go into, so... They Francesca added stuff. Makes the spiciest pizza in the city. Yeah, we've met Francesca. Sorry. She tried to hit on us, didn't she? Oh, She's thanks. going to continue. Why can't okay. all the men be like you? Uh... Cocky chauvinism? Because if all men were like me, you women would have a harder time finding something to complain about. Well, I've got plenty to complain about right now. Look at that me. I'm Sounds a stereotype. Too far this uh, time, and I've got to do like something female about Mario. Him. It's it really is. The way he's been flaunting his latest affair with some floozy. If I had some hard proof he's been sleeping around, I could finally divorce him and get some money from him. Can we take this case? I'd like to take this case. Let's do that. I'm sorry things aren't working out. If there's anything I can do to help, short of sleeping with him. No, not short of sleeping with her. Oh, God. Oh, poo. You sure know how to break a girl's heart. But there is something you can do for me. And then I will do something for you. A wink, a wink, a nudge, a nudge. So you jumped last night. Sal told me to keep quiet and that telling you would put my life in danger. But I'm willing to talk if you'll give me some proof that Sal is having an affair. All right, then here's our side quest. Him yep. and get some of the money uh, he's been hiding quests. away all these years. Take on it. I like this lady. She is drive a hard bargain, Francesca. But I need to lead on my case, so I'll Get see what I can do. Hard on Sal. Yes. I don't know anything about the girl Sal is seeing. I've gone through his things, but haven't been able to find anything except for this note. I think it's meant to be a coded message. <laughs> I'm sorry I don't have anything more for you to work with. Let me know when you've got something. Oh god, we're gonna have to break a code. Let's see. Oh god. Is this something we're going to have to, like, remember when we look at something else, but we won't be able uh, to look at them side by side? No, no, fortunately they don't do that. Okay, because if I had to, I could take a picture of my phone. <laughs> no, 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 they don't do that. Um, so recently, where shall we go? Where should we start our investigation? That's a good question, actually. Um, man, I don't, I don't actually know. Well, we got the diner, we got the electronic shop, the newsstand, the bum in the alley, the elephant man. And this... we actually haven't been to the hotel yet. That's new. Oh, there's a hotel? Yes. Oh. The Golden Gate Hotel down at the end of the street. Well, uh, why don't we ask newspaper lady about the two? In case there's anything she might say about them. How can I help you, Tex? Yeah, Francesca and Sal. Sal's a handful. I mean, he's a nice guy, but I don't know, I feel kind of naked when he gives me the eye. Uh... All right, <laughs> that T TMI. Franny's a live wire. Either she or Sal is going to do time for killing the other one. I have never seen a couple fight like they do. Okay, well. That was pointless. I mean, it got us some flavor, I guess. Indeed, he's a creep. Yeah. Next. Oh boy. Um. Let's wander over to the diner. He, the guy at the diner, always knows what's going on. Except for when he doesn't. Well, he knows what's going on with local people. 
Okay. What's on your mind? Okay. It's about Sal. As a matter of fact, he just left. You'd probably be interested to know that he tore up a note and left it in the trash. Louis tells me he just took the garbage and dumped it in the trash can. Did you notice when he's talking, there's like a weird buzz on his microphone? Is there? I, yeah, I just little, I just little heard little. it. It just with him though, not with the rest of the dialogue. Well, they probably recorded all the dialogue at yeah. the same time. This I'm pretty sure this game was made at a reasonable budget, like like at a reasonably low budget. Oh yeah, oh absolutely. Um, even for all the power of it, the one thing they said they were going for is they weren't going to be limited by size, which is why it comes on four CDs originally. Nice. Um, ooh, wow. Oh wow! Uh, trash. Yeah. Okay, the garbage is all doing some sort of wiggy thing. The the follow up game I don't know if I mentioned came on six, six discs. Oh yeah, I think I remember you talking about that. Oh, yeah. this is fun. Oh yeah, this is a thing we gotta do. Okay, everyone ready for fun? No. Oh no. Yeah. Oh no. So this is a thing that happens. Can we turn them? Okay, you can rotate them. Okay. You can, yes. Oh boy. Actually, this doesn't seem too bad. Yeah, first thing you want to do is move everything. Because they give you a size, which is nice. I don't know what to do with that goddamn. Um, Basically, you want to try and get the corners. Yes, well, here's a corner, but I don't know which corner. Oh, this one has a... Here's a good one. That's a corner. It looks like a top corner. Oh, yeah. Regency. And then that one, yeah, that's obvious. Uh, no, that doesn't fit. Oh. There might be another one. Oh, yeah, it's probably just under the pile. Yep. You have to do this a couple times over the course of the over the course of the game. There's a couple of these little little solvent puzzles. That's not too bad. No. I mean, with the letters, you kind of know what direction they have to be. Exactly. So. Yeah, that's what helps. There you go. There we go. Yeah. With the, yeah. Unfortunately, because it's all in like gibberish. You um, sort of got to go by shape rather than spelling. Yeah. So here, I found... Uh, what's the piece that goes here? I, I saw something like that. Here, mm. this is it. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. All right. Okay, what else we got? I'm looking. I'm trying to find that top right corner. I think it's this one. Yeah. There we go. And then that one, and you've got in the top right there. Yep, good call. Yeah. Okay, we do it. Okay, this one here should have a little point on it. This one. Now nah, we're getting somewhere. This one here has got a weird shape to it. Uh, that, that in the right alpha. Alpha, yep. Good call. And then this one should be easy to find here. This is actually kind of neat. I don't know. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> If it's only a couple times in the game, then that it won't wear out its welcome. Exactly, yeah. yeah. It's just enough to be... If this is something you had to do, like, every single day of the game... That would be frustrating yeah. as hell. They, like all jigsaw puzzles, you do the outside first and then do the middle, if you can. Yeah. Uh, this thing here, this is going to be some weird... This one I don't remember. I'm just sort of guessing here. Uh... Yeah, I think you've pretty much got it. I'm just trying to find the one that looks the closest. What else we got? Uh, this one? This one, right? Yes? Uh, yeah. Love comes up a lot. Yeah, yeah. You, how are you with cryptograms? Oh, I don't even remember letter, what that word means. Letter, letter substitution. Oh, bad. Okay. No, that's not it. Uh, is it this one? This, this one. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You look for, like, L-U-V, L-U-V, that's probably the, and that's where you And then start. that X-P-E-C-O, Guva. Yeah, that's the one. Oh, we're very close. Uh, use the love. Yeah, it's definitely the. Yeah, I guess. It would have to be. I can't think of any other three-letter word that would pop up that much. That much, yeah. yeah. That's usually your first tip. Yeah, I lied. my dad taught me to do cryptograms when I was a kid. These used to have them in, like, newspapers. Remember when newspapers had, like, jumbles and stuff? Maybe they still have them, actually. I don't know. Yeah, who reads the newspaper anymore? I love doing crossword Unless puzzles. Unless you're, like, old. I love doing me some crossword puzzles. I kind of liked them, but I wasn't too wild about them. Okay. 
He did it. That completes it. Oh, yeah. cool. He just automatically glues it together. That's yeah. nice. Yeah, that's right. So I take it we combine this with the code now? With our code. All right. Now we're getting somewhere. When I had this on Metal Game, this used to make like a buzzing sound when you did combine. Hmm. Weird. I wonder why it doesn't anymore. Uh, because they fixed... Well, because I think it had to do with my slower engine. Oh, like it wasn't intentional. Oh, it's only done some of it. Oh, boy. Oh, God. Oh, so the red letters are the definite ones. So what did we say? Love was the, right? So all yeah. we've got to do is go... Oops. That's letter Y. Yeah, it's weird how the bottom gets cut off in this game. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, the red letters are ones we've confirmed. Okay. So... Any other words that seems mm. obvious? I'm looking. Mm. I'm assuming the third first word on the third line is probably with. With? No, third line. Oh, with. Yeah, that seems right. Okay. We... Have. have yeah confirmed might be the last yeah, word. Seems right. The good thing is when you get it right, the letter goes red automatically, so you know you're it's, it's instant feedback. Uh, appointment is definitely that That's word. Definitely true. Uh, your so we have confirmed your appointment with. Uh, Ask. Chastity? Hmm. Okay. The suite in the Golden, Go Golden Gate Hotel. It's the Golden Gate. At the usual time. Password today is silicone. Silicon, not silicone. Two different things. How do you know it's not silicone? <laughs> no, that's the appointment, is with silicone. The password is silicone. Golden Gate Hotel, eh? Well, let's go to the Golden Gate Hotel. I suppose we should probably do that. That's where the note says the thing is, so we should go do the thing and the, the stuff. The Golden Gate Hotel was once known as the Waldorf of the Pacific. Its halls are still sturdy, and the walls have worn well. But there's nobody living inside. I think that's a song. Is it? Okay, I do not understand that reference. Now we're going to meet Ardo. Ardo Newpop is a gigantic goon who works at the front desk at the Golden Gate Motel. Ardo's no rocket scientist. In fact, he probably doesn't even know what a rocket scientist is. Is that supposed to be a mirror? No, it's a television. Okay, why, why is it a television? Because... Instead of a person? No, no, you're not talking... You're, the guy's watching the television. You, oh. It's a reverse angle shot. What are we, who, what are we saying? Uh... Boop tube hobnobbing? Just because I want to know what that means? Uh-huh. I'm watching the Captain Wallaby show, and he's so funny. Yeah, he looks like a laugh riot. <laughs> uh, show us some interest. Captain Wallaby, your favorite show? It's my third favorite show. My favorite is I remember Inspector, Inspector Burns. The fire safety show. Hmm. Name dropping fib. You know, Ardo, Inspector Burns and I are really good friends. You are? Wow! I'd do anything to meet Inspector Burns. Zip. Anything you say, huh? Mm. Uh. Man, I almost want to say patronizing manipulation. <laughs> want to do that? Sure. Yeah, Burns is the best. You know, we always play a little game called 20 Questions. You want to play? Okay. I can answer some questions, but first I have to put on my fire hat because Inspector Burns' fire safety show is going to be on pretty soon. This this guy's uh, interesting. Yes. All right. Uh, I guess ask about Sal. I don't know what that is. Francesca. Oops. Wrong. I oh. clicked Sal. I never heard nothing. I clicked Sal again. That. She's the lady who makes the best pizza. I eat at her pizza place all the time because I love it. <laughs> Ask her about Rusty Clown. I want to know if he knows about Rusty Clown. I used to yeah. have a TV show, and it was pretty good, but then it stopped. And then he opened a store down the street, and I used to go there and buy stuff, but then it closed. Damien. Yes? Should I be offended right now? Oh, why? Because he's kind of dumb. 
I feel like he's supposed to be a special person. No, well, I mean, I think he's just, yeah, I don't know. I don't um, know. I think I that's the other, pri- him and Tex are the two primary game designers. Oh. <laughs> but I think he couldn't act, so they just gave him this part. I just, you know, because Tex's acting skills are amazing. <laughs> well, it's better than this. Uh, Tex, uh, Chris Jones isn't bad. He, he's, he directs the game slash stars in it. So, you know, it's all oh. cost cutting, right? What else can we ask about it? Not much. We have to trick our way in here, but we already know how to do that, don't we? Do we? Well, we kind of do, because we um, know his favorite guy is Inspector Burns. And we haven't had this Inspector Burns mask. Oh, God. Sweet. <laughs> uh, we also have a helium filled balloon. But we need, I just realized we forgot something. We require a. Fire hat? Yeah, well, we require a fire uniform. Let's go back into the scary clown warehouse. I wonder if he's still up there. Is he still up there? Uh, I don't know. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. Uh, something I forgot last time I was here. There is a, one of these things. That's it. Crate smells like laundry soap. Crate in front on the floor seems to be partially open. Crack this thing open. There we go. Apparently okay. some fireman dropped off his uniform to be cleaned and uh, forgot to pick it up. Yeah, so we grabbed the fire costume. So we're going to pretend to be Inspector Burns, so we absolutely huh? absolutely are. It's going to be great. Oh, boy. I like where this is going. <laughs> yeah. Let's... Uh, patronize a special person. Uh-huh. Uh, now I'm going to get angry letters. Wait, do people still write angry letters? I don't know. Or they just make <laughs> nasty comments on YouTube. See, I don't have many people watching this yet, so I don't get many nasty comments. Fair enough. I don't get very many comments at all. Uh oh says he don't like you hanging around here. So he gives me a bunch of money and says he'll pay me more if I keep you out of here until he goes away. <laughs> Otto's not going to let me into those rooms at the hotel. But I've got oh, wow, they just straight up tell you, huh? Costume. Sure. Maybe I'll try it on him next well, time. Well, once you've assembled it, it tells you. All right. Use that, sucker. Try it again. This is rather now fun. I've got an Inspector Burns disguise that would fool his own mother. It certainly ought to do the trick on a goofball like Ardo. It's my hero, Inspector Burns. You voted for Trump, didn't you, Ardo? Uh, what are we gonna go with? Uh, heartwarming approach. And you must be Fire Ranger Ardo, my biggest fan in the entire world. Yes, sir, Inspector Burns. You must have got the letter I sent you. Uh. <laughs> the third one's funny. The, the point one. of any real emotion. Uh, tongue and cheek concern? Why, yes, Ardo. I was deeply touched when I read your letter. But now I can't seem to remember a single word of it. That's okay. I know you're pretty busy. I wanted you to inspect this hotel for fire safety. I followed all your fire safety tips. Uh... We going with uh, give in reluctantly. Well, okay, I can see this means a lot to you. You're a good kid, so I'll just take a look around. All right, I'll open the doors, Inspector Burns. I feel really bad After about all minutes, of this. I find the door to the well, why? He's taken advantage of this poor man. The door's locked, he's he's getting paid. He's good. On the wall beside it. Oh, we're monsters. Like uh-oh. Password. Uh, silicone. Con. Cone. Kraken. I. L. I. C. No, if I put in silicone, I'd... Well, it wouldn't fit. Your patronage so is approved. this is the Regency Escort Service. Logo. Silicone Valley, my now favorite place. I'll need to find something to prove that Sal's been a frequent... I feel like I should be wearing, like, gloves or something in here. Our costume doesn't have gloves? Well, I think I took the costume off. Oh. So, where do we want to look now? we got some investigating to do. I don't know, but I'm digging this music. Oh yeah, this is a nice little... Look, elevator a... music, but more tense. What's this? A book about the history of the Golden Gate Hotel. <laughs> Looks fascinating. Nice cathedral. Who? Nope. We just took that Girls painting down for the fuck of it. He, he comments on every picture, they're pretty great. There's a scene in this that I really love, which we're going to get to in a little bit. 
This appears to be a very poor copy of Monet's Drowning Frogs. Uh, that's pronounced Monette. The one thing that did inspire me about uh, this game about Texas is that I also am proud of the fact that I know a lot of bizarre random stuff. <laughs> I'd call this one Two Girls Bothered by Ants on a Picnic. Yeah, fuck ants. Yeah, they're horrible. This must that's be why I don't go outside. Mishap on the high seas. Also, I just fear basic human interaction. A twisty board game. I used to play this as a kid. I wonder what the escort girls do with it. Uh. Looks like a piece of bright, shiny foil. Wait, so there's a board game hidden behind the painting? Ooh, foil. You can always use gold foil, right? Sure. I guess. What is that for? I can't remember. We'll find out. Can you take the twisty board game? Uh, no. Oh. I was hoping the final boring. boss fight of this would be a game of Twister against the villain. I'm starting to think this painting's following me around. Now nah, we just ran out of budget. Someone's gonna come in, it's like, who moved all our fucking paintings? Tax Murphy, the quest for more money. Yes. Pretty exciting stuff. I said before they should be making the new space balls because of all the new Star Wars stuff coming well, up. I, I know this there was going to be another one at some point. Yellow. And then it just never happened. Yeah, it never materialized. And John Candy's dead, and Rick Moranis is retired. A list of names. All female. Looks like Sal's a regular here at the Love Suite. Well, so is there this where people go to do the prostitutes? Is that what they're implying? Uh, pretty much, yes. Okay. What, which room do Not you want to go in? There's, there's like, anything that room wrong has with piano, the prostitutes. That room has a bed, and that room seems to have a jacuzzi in it. So oh, jacuzzi. Jacuzzi room? Let's go. Yeah. Ah, French doors with American knobs. Lavish, yet practical. I didn't know there was a specific American knob style. Looks like someone left their shorts in the hot tub. I think I'll leave them right where they are. Take the underwear. Take uh, it. Uh, no. That's oh. disgusting. What the? This face looks like it was mounted here to hold flowers or something. Okay. That feels like an obvious put something here later. Someone's dropped a cork into this mounted base. The opening's too narrow to get my hand in. I'd break it, but it looks like it's made out of ceranide, that new unbreakable plastic. The cork looks like a typical champagne cork with some wire mesh on it. Hmm. Wire mesh. Uh, okay. Obviously we have to find something to get that cork out. Yes, we do. Oh, lovely. Well, I guess one of the escort girls left her bikini top. Take the bikini top. I can't. Oh. It's a shame. Oh, sick. A yucky band-aid. That's a giant band-aid. Uh, it's probably a giant wound. Oh, man. Take Beer it. Beer cans. Beer cans. Oh, they're empty. Man, someone had a party up in here. Yes, apparently. With wounds and bikini tops and beer and... Champagne. And 2D clothing. Yeah, towels smell like mildew and fine hops. Oh. What, what's this? What's this? Looks like a couple of objects have fallen into the drain. With that screwdriver, I could undo the screws on this drain cover and get that roll of film. That's convenient. How do I get the screwdriver? Wait, so with the screwdriver that's inside there, I could get inside there? Yep. Okay, cool, great. Useful, isn't it? Yeah, we did it. Let's see what's in some of the other rooms. Okay. Ah, French doors with a... Yeah, we've been through this. We get it. It's a bad design. Hmm, a piece of sheet music. Let's see. Lucido L'Amour. Must be Western music. Hmm, I don't think that's Western. Just just throwing that out there. A Larson Grand Piano. Wow. That's even better than a Stopway. Okay. Magnet box, Sorny. How? Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm your entertainer tonight, Mr. Franco Spinoza. I'm going to be playing some songs that I know you'll love. Listen to this one. Hard and cold, it's what the best to be. Damien? Yep. Yeah. I want to die. <laughs> Welcome to Cheap Las Vegas Entertainment. <laughs> that was interesting. Yeah, there's... And a, a part of me died inside today. <laughs> There's something useful in here. I can't remember what it is. Not much. Mostly it's playing with the piano, which is entertaining, but there's also... 
<laughs> uh, light switch. What am I looking for here? Is there anything on the wall? Is there nothing in here? There must be something in here. Feels like it'd be weird if they had a room that didn't have something in it. That would be weird. Hmm. So I feel like, was there something on the wall? No. Oh, no, that's a light switch. This room honestly might not... Oh, there. That's it. That's what I was looking for. Oh, okay. Oh, a Passion's Breath room deodorizer. Seems useless, but I'm sure we'll do use something. Oh, it's a magnet. Mag okay. Yeah. Magnets can be handy. Fucking magnets. How do they work? What? I love magnets. How do they work, though? It's magic. It's uh, miracles. Yes, yes. I don't want to talk to a scientist. Those dudes are lying and getting me pissed. That is... Wait, wait, what? Okay. Do you not understand this reference I'm making right now? Yeah, a little bit. Wait, it's that ICP song from a few years ago. No, I, I don't listen to music. Uh, neither do I, but it, it was like making this around on the no, internet. No, I mean like at all. Um, Ooh, cabinets. Yeah, the Insane Clown Posse did a song about how like all the miracles of the world and it's magic and fucking science, man. It's like you can't explain this shit. I've been watching... Um, and one of the lines is literally, fucking magnets, how do they work? Uh, like it's some sort of miracle. I hope they aren't I've been stuff. watching, uh, I've been rewatching The Last Airbender recently. Like, that show's series. awesome. And one of my favorite lines, I think it's in the first season where it's like, where they're talking to the, um, uh, the psychic lady. And it's like the one guy asks, well, can your science explain why it rains? Yes! Yes, it can! <laughs> Yeah, I love that show. That's a great show. I really I need to watch Korra. To bed nicely. We're almost we're almost done now. Where we got like five episodes left, um, and then we'll have watched the whole series completely through twice. I we got the the DVDs now, so I can watch special mm. features, which I love. Ooh, what's like this? The upper left drawer need a key. I bet I could open it if I had something to pick the lock. Which I don't think we do. No, I don't. Sick the Geiger on it. <laughs> Rip it open, <laughs> boy. It figures. Everything points to Sal being an aspiring televangelist. Wow. I know they put those Bibles in every hotel room, but this is pushing us. Ooh, what's that? Hmm. Camera. Too bad there's no film in it. There's no dust on it. Well, we found a roll of film. Must have been used recently. Did we? That's, yeah, it was in that drain pipe with the, uh, uh, with the screwdriver. Uh, okay. All right. I love finding unlocked drawers. Is there anything in here? Ah, the joys of getting yourself into a look into drawer position. Yeah. Oh, wow. Sorry. Sorry. These controls, man. Ooh, there is something in here. Feels like there must have been a better way. It was It was a lot more fluid in the 46. 12 cents. Some people would take this change, but not me. Cash, maybe, but not change. Pennies don't even exist anymore in Canada. Ah, uh, but at this point, they still exist in the States because they're dumb and they won't uh, get rid of them. <laughs> They're actually people who protest getting rid of them, if you can believe it. Yeah, I've ran into it before. No, that's empty. Something here, I'm going to keep looking down because everything seems to be on the floor. Ooh, what's this? The nightstands balance the bed nicely. Yes, they do. Playbub. Playbub. Oh, it's last month's Playbub magazine. I think like I heard that Playboy doesn't even do nude photos anymore. Yeah, what's the deal with that? That seems weird. I mean... It was Tab. I figured it I out. I mean, you find the nudity you that you want on the internet anyway, so who exactly. needs Playboy, but it still seems weird. Yeah, nighty. Hopefully this isn't Sal's negligee. The color's all wrong for him. I couldn't tell you because we haven't seen what he looks Apparently like. Apparently this closet doesn't get used very often. Ah, uh, stupid square buttons. Square buttons? You mean keys on a keyboard? No, I mean, um, like, interactive things, like you're hitting the door even though you're not pointing at the door because of oh, the you're at. yeah. Champagne glass. Okay, I think I should have, there should be a shoelace around here somewhere. Apart from that, I think I've got just about everything I need to figure this all out. A shoelace? Yeah, somewhere. I thought it was in a drawer somewhere, but I thought it was in one of these drawers. Wouldn't be, like, kind of under the bed, would it? Oh no, wait, it's in the lock drawer. Do we have a key? Nope, but we do have something else we can get. Now we have the champagne. This is a bit of a weird one. With what I've got now, I should be able to get some other things. What we do is we go in this direction. And we take the champagne glass, and we fill it with water. Oh, and then we pour it in the... Alright. And we do that. <laughs> yep. 
Oh, adventure games. <laughs> when you think about it. It's so weird. <laughs> it all makes sense. I mean, that's, again, that was that was sort of the whole joy of playing it, is you'd sit and you'd poke around and be like, how do I do this? How do I do this? And there was always a way to do it. Um, and for the most part, actually, the next game, the Pandora Directive, has a rather nasty part in it that I screwed up on once and I accidentally saved myself into a corner. Oh, uh, that's us. And I had to start again. Speaking of, we should save our game soon. We should. Well, I think we're getting about to the end of this. As I fill up yeah. the mounted vase, the champagne cork flows to the top. I'm just going to reach in and pick it up. Well, I've got a cork now, and that's all you need. You did it. We will complete this little mystery next time. All right, see you guys soon.